we had the coldest marathon run, Gordon. Did you see this in uh, Siberia? Yep. Got this in the rundown I did here. not see this. Tell me about this. Negative, negative 53 Celsius, which is negative 63 Fahrenheit. The winner for the men ran 322. The photos are great. If you click on the, the link and scroll through some of these pictures, it just you get cold reading it. And then the fastest women's time was 409. I think when I see this, I think, well, I would never want to do this. However, I would never want to be a negative 53 in general. So running a marathon actually doesn't seem that bad because I would need to do it to stay warm. So just in terms of full on survival, this is this is like an appealing moment to run a marathon because they have pictures of people spectating. Cole, go back to the article. You can see, and they don't even look like they're wearing that heavy of coats. Like I would be wrapped in in everything. You pull up that article, Cole. Oh, there's a video of it too here. I mean, moving pretty good here. That's that's pretty solid in terms of. How, but like, look at those people. They got the big hats on that you're used to seeing over there in Russia. But they're just watching. Like watching seems. This is the only marathon where watching seems harder than running. Why would they do this? This makes. <laughs> Why? Like, what? What do you like? I can see. Like, all right, I want to exercise. So, and it's cold <laughs> out, and I just gotta get it done. But like, do you need to run a full ass marathon? You're not getting anything from the. You're not getting any extra like aerobic or physical benefit from running a marathon in negative 50 degrees versus no, running like for the 10 miles in negative 50 degrees. Because your pace is slow that like you're not – we're not running five-minute mile pace here. You're just running. <laughs> Look you're, at this guy's face. It's ridiculous. Look how much snow is on him. <laughs> and are you – do you get hot or cold? That's what I'm – because you're wearing so many uh, layers and your yeah. body is heating up. So you're probably like mm -hmm. really hot, but then you can't take it off because then your your skin will freeze. It's yeah, it's like what's you know, the it's conversion like those... factor? The conversion? Like once you get all those clothes off and you run in just shorts and a t-shirt, it's got to be worth several minutes over the course of a marathon. And how thick are your gloves? I mean, what's and then they're running in snow boots probably too, right? What's the conversion when they put on those alpha flies? Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's true. Maybe they have what's the conversion? fiber snow boots. What's the conversion when it's not ice on the ground? Because it looks like there was yeah. ice on the ground. It's snow on the ground. So like where you actually can not have to stutter step with your jog because you're afraid you're yeah. going to fall. Like that woman in that viral news clip where she was running on snow and then fell. That's what I was thinking. Do you, I just, do you think, why do you think these, the, the winners are top 10 marathoners? Do you think these are actually, are they hiding in plain sight? These could be top 10 marathoners if they ran in. It could be. Even if they ran in negative, negative six. What's the, do you think you could tell the difference between negative 53 and negative 23? No, I could not. What do you think Ilya Kipchoge would have ran in that race? In those conditions? 206. He would not run 206 <laughs> in negative 53 degree weather on snow. He would not. That's not happening. All it's you would true. see, he'd be he'd be covered just like all those guys are. You'd just see the smile though the entire time. He would just be bouncing along. Uh what would Kipchoge run in negative fifty three? You also think about I mean, the footage. He'd, he'd, he'd put on different shoes. Maybe he'd put on those yak track things that people put on when they when they have to go in the snow. Maybe he'd put those over his alpha flies. I mean, he'd run sub three for sure. If this guy ran 320. That's true. But he won't run 206. <laughs> if that was, like, that to, was a joke. In order to run 206, you need to be like in like a... But like, what it, what's like the time he could run where like he's, he doesn't need to be floating and like... I don't know. Also, like, how, yeah. I don't know how your body... Re how does your body react to that? Like... Well... Okay, here's the surprising thing. Because I'm thinking, all right, if it's all run by locals who live there all the time, Do they actually run it's the not going to feel warm, but, but they're used to it. But then I read the article, 
And there's people who came from the Middle East to run this. There's people who came from the United States to run this. And there's nowhere in the United States as cold as this. This is known as the coldest place on earth. They call it the pole of cold. It's inside. Yeah, you go into Google Maps and, and you find this place and then you zoom out, zoom out. Zoom, there's nothing around it, really. And everybody knows Siberia, frozen tundra. They have to, like, it's all built on permafrost. Like, it's, it's perpetually cold. So I get the people who live there all the time adapting a little bit. But how does somebody come from another part of the world and run it? and survive like the amount of when you play that video the amount of uh their breath you saw it was like they were a steam engine plowing plowing along like they weren't even breathing hard it was just a constant stream of smoke coming out of their breath it was incredible yeah imagine being american you're right ready to go you have all your gear your goo packs and then like your goo packs become <laughs> lollipops because you're like shit they're frozen and then you're like frozen, all yeah. right you 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 thought you were gonna sh shred clothes and you're like nope all right I need like no putting on clothes you're adding clothes yeah you're, yeah to start <laughs> you're adding would clothes you rather over time net negative fifty three or a hundred and twenty five what would you rather run a marathon in if you had to do it uh probably negative fifty three. Because I'll just okay. be like, I'm cold and I'm just going to jog and I'm just going to walk yeah. and I'm just going to get through it. Whereas like 125, I'm like, I'm going to die if I move. Like I can't move my body yeah. if I, I'll die if I move my body. Yeah. And you can always add clothes. I would be looking like the yeah. Michelin man by the time the starting gun went off. Whereas <laughs> if it's really, really hot, there's a limit to how many clothes you can, you can only take off all of your clothes. And then at that point, yeah. Uh, at that point it's over uh Don't yeah worry. i i i have i have respect for for this group again i just the spectators though that's a hardy group out there um as well 